Today I wanted to share with you some thoughts on how does it feel to complete 11 years in the business and not just any business in the open source space. I think it is important to also note how we have contributed to make an impact of open source in the region in last 11 years. Let me take you back to 2009 and give you a sense of what was the state of open source adoption in the region. In 2009, we all know the economic scenario was not great. On top of it, for the open source technologies, it was not an easy time. There were big forces that were opposing open source and it, Red Hat was the only big organization that was creating some impact. But obviously there were so many other open source technologies that were that had come up and were required by the organizations, required by the customers. But these open source technologies and these companies were all based in the US. They were not ready to come to Southeast Asia or make investment in Southeast Asia. Of course, they were they wanted the customers, they wanted to expand and everybody wants the new source of revenue. But coming here in Southeast Asia and doing business was not easy. Number one was the environment, the lack of confidence or lack of adoption of open source technologies. And to make that thing happen, it was required to, there was a lot of heavy lifting that was required to be done. And Red Hat was the only company that was doing at that point of time. Also, on top of it, what, what you require otherwise in the market is a good local partner ecosystem. The local partner ecosystem was traditional, was centered around typical distributor and reseller or maybe two tier or three tier uh, environment and which was primarily created or which was primarily ready to cater to the pull from the customers. If customers demand, yes, the resellers and the distributors were ready to fulfill that. Whereas open source required creating that pull. That means it going out in the market and doing what we call it as triple A cycle. Create awareness, create appreciation, and then create adoption. That required a good amount of investment, it requires a lot of patience, and most importantly, it requires a completely different mindset, which we knew that having worked, having set up the whole business in India with Red Hat, we had that idea of what it takes to make this open source technologies work or create the adoption cycle, reach up to that. But local partner ecosystem was not ready for that matter. So that means the only other alternative available for the other open source technology companies was to come and have direct presence. That means do that heavy lifting. But considering the environment, lack of adoption, lack of developer community, lack of vibrancy, it means a heavy investment. It means a long-term uh, investment and that time nobody was ready for that kind of view. So this is the scenario in 2009. Fast forward today, what do we see? Today almost every large open source technology company has its presence in the, in the region, has large manpower offices here. We see there is a great vibrancy in the partner ecosystem. We see great amount of development happening. There are developers, there are communities who are contributing to these open source technologies. And what to talk about customers. The local large enterprises have become the global case studies for many organizations for their adoption of those technologies, for their adoption of critical business workloads for those technologies. So you see great happy picture today and that is why everybody is very upbeat. People are, organizations, the companies, the open source companies are confident of getting their returns 
if they invest in you know, people offices in this region and customers are today calling that if it is open source technology we want to talk to you that's a kind of difference that we see so what has ashnik done how has ashnik contributed to this phenomena we are very proud of our contribution we have been there out there in the market doing countless number of workshops and events i would say at least 200 workshop 300 workshops our team would have done small and big in the region continuously keep doing those sowing the seeds for various open source technologies that we partner with and our message always starts with used to start with a lot why open source and then build upon it for that technology why subscription model what is subscription model and things like that we have invested a lot in creating that awareness today we see over 200 customers that we have enabled for various open source technologies that we have partnered with very happy to see that these customers are coming back to us adopting more open source technologies adopting them in their business business critical applications on the other hand we have touch base with at least 40 or 50 local reseller partners and created awareness amongst them give them given them the confidence that this is a business to go after how to build business how to interact with the customers how to really build uh, your long term subscription model around open source technologies so we have we see today lot of partners local reseller partners coming up standing up and demanding or asking to be uh, taken up as their partners so this is fantastic we have done events we have been doing on the ground events at least 50 large events that we would have done on our own along with the uh, technology oems that we worked with it requires lot of patience lot of creativity our teams have been really creative in going out and creating that, uh, that uh, environment in the market that customers really attend those events we would have done or 50 training proper training programs and that has created contributed to creating local uh, skilled manpower that is one of the key things that organizations look for that if i am adopting this open source technology do i have skills available and we are very really proud to say that we have contributed in creating that confidence through the training programs that we have done and having done that we have been also uh, very proud partners of our key sponsors of postgres uh, conference in singapore for 3 years so likewise we have contributed immensely making this environment happen making this southeast asia and india a vibrant place for open source adoption creating that confidence that is what it means to be in the business for 11 years it is not just to make revenue for ourselves but in a true open source value contributing to to the region contributing to the community contributing to the customers and their success for not just adoption of open source technologies but making businesses happen may most of the time these open source technologies where they are being used they are critical part of the businesses they make their business relevant they make the businesses viable because of various factors and we are very proud that we have contributed from our side to make that environment happen in the region we'll continue to do so our teams are very excited for the next phase of the journey we are adding more technologies we have learned from customers we have seen now that open source technologies have become a big number of installations have happened we have seen what customers are asking as a next phase 
we are seeing that complexity has increased so automation scale out and most importantly how do i manage my subscription life cycle how do i manage my renewals and how do i make my organizations work together when we adopt open source technology these are the some of the learnings that we have gone through and we are there to address those needs we are coming out with some of the solutions we are coming out with some platforms and we will talk about that more but today it is all about completing 11 years of journey and what we are proud of is the contribution that we have made to make this region a successful adopter of open source technologies thank you for watching and we will come back with next set of thoughts stay tuned stay safe stay healthy